Hello and welcome to Vlogmas. This is a last minute decision. I wasn't gonna do Vlogmas and then I just decided why not? Like I've always wanted to try it. This is the first Christmas where I've kind of vlogged my life. Last year I wasn't weekly vlogging or anything. I was making videos kind of once a week but this is the first Christmas where I've been taking YouTube very seriously this year and weekly vlogging my life so I thought why don't I try and do Vlogmas. I imagine it will be terrible. If you watch my weekly vlogs you know that I'm I'm quite a rubbish vlogger and my life is quite boring but if you don't try you don't know and I really do like vlogging and the whole editing and uploading and you know sharing my life with you guys so I thought I'd give it a go and if I don't try now you never know so who knows what I'll be doing next Christmas. Give it a go and we'll see what happens. I hope you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to try my best and um, try and upload the vlogs at 6pm the next day so this one which is the 1st of December which is mad will go up at 6pm on the 2nd of December and so on and so forth. It's actually 34 minutes past midnight so it's only 34 minutes into the start of December and I've just finished a shift at the O2. It was Jess Glynn tonight and it was okay it was quite a short shift. I've actually come to Tesco's all week I've been meaning to go food shopping but I've had some stuff happening this week that you guys won't know about and I can't tell you about well I can tell you but I'm not going to tell you yet which meant that when I was going to go shopping I was busy and things happened but basically if you watch my weekly vlogs you'll know that my life's kind of been a bit like up and down. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's not been like a C. It's been a bit up and down. I've been in a bit of a stuck position, not knowing what I'm going to do with my life. But basically, I'm all sorted. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to make a proper video about it because I think it deserves a proper sit down video. I don't know when I'm going to do it because I want to do it as soon as possible so I can share it with you guys. So hopefully I can do that soon and upload it and then you'll know what I'm talking about. But basically, I cannot even explain how happy I am. Something amazing has happened and I'm the happiest person and yeah i can't wait for you guys to know so i'm wide awake i'm full of happy energy and adrenaline and have been for the past couple of days so i thought i'd come to tesco's and do the food shop because i kept meaning kept meaning to and haven't had time and i'm feeling very christmasy so i'm coming to get some christmasy things and some snacks and stuff that nan's been asking me to get so even though i should be in bed i've come to tesco's and that is the start of vlogmas <laughs> is me doing one of my late night adventures to Tesco so we'll see what we find. I hope you enjoy Vlogmas and I'll give it my best go but I'm not promising anything but we will see. I've got so much Christmas related stuff it is ridiculous. It is 10 to 4 in the afternoon on Thursday the 1st of December and this morning I was doing emails and work and working on a blog post that I'm doing for um, Oasis which should be going up in a couple of days. It's the first blog post I've written in a year and I don't know, I've been focusing on YouTube so much that I haven't vlogged, but the blog post I'm working on is a sponsored one, so I hope you don't mind because it's a good opportunity for me to earn some money, especially while, you know, things that have been happening um, with jobs and stuff, so I couldn't turn it down. So hopefully you'll support it and you won't mind that it's paid for content. Writing and having my blog open has really inspired me and made me think I would like to do this more often. And then I went into town to meet my nan to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. It was very speedy. The shop she works in, where I used to work as well, was doing like a staff discount extra day so I got my brother a Christmas present and I got my dad a Christmas present and then I bought myself the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation and Estee Lauder Double Wear light foundation because they're the two foundations that I pretty much use most days. got two Christmas presents and the stuff I needed so it was successful and now I've got to get Christmas presents for my two cousins, my auntie and my nan. I've done my uncle, I've done my great uncle, I've done my brother and I've done my dad. So I'm halfway done, which is quite a nice feeling. I have done the school run and I'm at my auntie's house, picked the kids up from school and I'm looking after them tonight. So I'm gonna be here all evening. So I've got blankets, I've got my phone, I've got um, my laptop and my camera and my portable hard drive. So I'm gonna crack on with work. I think we might be ordering pizza tonight. I'm not sure, cause obviously I'm babysitting. I've got Oasis as well, cause they sent me some bottles for the campaign, which I don't think I'm allowed to tell you yet, but I'll tell you about it when I'm allowed to, but it's very exciting. It's very cool. We have ordered pizza. So let's do the big pizza reveal. Babysitting rewards. Yeah. And we have chicken and macaroni cheese. I'm so excited. Most Christmassy thing ever. make you feel Christmassy, nothing will. <laughs> Half seven and we've eaten and I filmed a little video today announcing my news, which I spoke to you about. I didn't tell you what it is in this vlogmas, so I won't say what it is in this, in this vlogmas, but I'm sure you probably know anyway, because I imagine you'll have watched it. But if you haven't, 
watch the video called Big News, go and watch that because that sort of tells you everything. I am incredibly overwhelmed right now with your tweets. I'm just trying to reply to tweets and my phone is literally just going off with people sending me messages which is amazing and I'm very overwhelmed. I can't believe that this is real anyway and now all of your kind words are just kind of making it even more oh my god <laughs> i just don't know what to say thank you so much i've not even looked on my youtube yet to see kind of what people are saying over there i'm refreshing my twitter and i can't actually keep up with the comments so i'm replying to everyone but it's it's just mad i don't know what to say but thank you so much you are making this even more special it's just mad i can't believe that this is real life i feel like i'm gonna wake up from a dream any second now go and reply to you all i just can't like my everything is going mad this is just so crazy but thank you so much you guys are honestly the best people ever i'm back home and it's gone midnight so technically it's the next day but we're sticking with day one I spend all of my evening replying to tweets which is mad and i've just looked at my news video and it's had over six thousand views over 900 thumbs ups and i can't even remember over almost 600 comments i've never had this many likes in sort of a short amount of time before so it's mad and the comments i've not even looked at many of the youtube comments because i want to sit down and reply to them all properly but they are just so incredible and all of the comments i've read on twitter tonight i've not looked at my instagram i've not looked at facebook i've had some emails as well but i've just focused on twitter tonight and they've all been so incredibly amazing that I cannot say a big enough thank you because you guys are making this even more special for me. I just can't say a big enough thank you. I've just realised I didn't even open my advent calendars today because it's been so crazy. I've actually got three, which is probably greedy, maybe. But I bought myself one. I bought myself one from Disneyland Paris when I went in October. And then my nan bought me one and my dad bought me one. So I'm very lucky to have three. First one is the Cadbury one from my nan. And I love a Cadbury's one. Here is number one. It's the Christmas countdown. I love it with the foil. They're reindeer, I think. This is the advent calendar from my dad, a limp one. And I love these. These are my favourites, these little red chocolate things. This is number one, so I think this might be the reindeer shaped one. <laughs> little chocolate reindeer, which I think I'm going to save and put in my bag and take it with me for a little snack tomorrow. And the last one is my Disneyland Paris advent calendar, which I think is so special. It's got Chip and Dale, Minnie and Mickey in their little Christmas outfits. It's got a tree, which is so cool. Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, the castle. There's even Remy and Emile. And just look back there, there's Mrs. Potts and Chip, which is so cute. The only thing I bought on my last trip, but I loved it too much to not get it. There's no foil. Oh, there's nothing on this one. That's very basic. That is very simple chocolate, but at least the advent calendar is pretty. Let me know if you keep these open or if you close them. That chocolate from the Disneyland Paris one was not great. I'm gonna go now because I've got so much to do. I've got this to edit, a Disney vlog to edit, a wig to style, a holiday quote to do. It's gonna be a late night for me. Thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 1. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you again for all the love and support on the news video. You guys are amazing. And I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. Good night.